Oxford University and AstraZeneca uh, announcing 70% efficacy for its uh, vaccine trial drug, 90% in some cases. Um, and this comes after we've gotten positive news from Pfizer, from Moderna, and momentum continues to build for vaccine distribution as we get into December here in the year 2020. Anjali Kamlani joins us now for the latest on today's news, Anjali, um, between Oxford and AstraZeneca, because I think this this bit of news um, is just as positive, really, in my view, as the other two pieces of vaccine news, but it's a bit more, I don't know, complex, complicated, convoluted, whatever word you want to use, um, than perhaps the, the announcements we got from Pfizer and Moderna. Uh, that's right. So let's break it down, right? From from Oxford and AstraZeneca, what we got today was uh, the first look, just like we did for Pfizer and Moderna, the first look at what their phase three trial in the UK and Brazil, I have to note, that's where the data is coming from, um, for their vaccine candidate. And what they've told us is that with a half dose plus a second full dose, it's 90% effective. And with a two full doses, um, it is more than 60% effective. Now, this meets the lowest bar uh, that the FDA did set in terms of efficacy. Um, but what is concerning some analysts is really uh, the type of data that is revealed. We have to note that the U.S. trial, of course, is still ongoing. Uh, so the results of that will really determine what the FDA uh, decides moving forward on that one. But meanwhile, we do have Pfizer and Moderna on the table right now. Of course, Pfizer applying for that emergency use authorization and, and waiting for um, the FDA to act on it. We know that there's going to be an advisory committee uh, that will uh, uh, be meeting prior to that, but we have heard that the first vaccine could be rolled out, of course, to the highest priority group uh, by next month. And so that's really, uh, really where the excitement is coming from. Now, what AstraZeneca's news also tells us um, is it kind of sets the bar also for Johnson & Johnson's vaccine. If we recall, uh, both those vaccines are using the same technology and both did hit snags earlier this year uh, with their trials and, and adverse events uh, that were not related. I have to uh, point out. So while we don't know much more than that right now, it is still positive news.